Hey, what is up guys? Gita Rock here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. It's been a while. Today I was, you know, browsing through the internet and I saw on Twitter that Blue Archive they posted the next character. Most likely this is going to be the next character. So if you guys haven't followed Blue Archive on either Twitter or Facebook or whatever, you can see they did post that Izuna, you know, student intro for Izuna right here. Pretty cool. So let's talk about Izuna in general, you know, just to give you guys an idea. She is perhaps going to be the next banner, most likely replacing one of the banners that we have right now, either Mashiro or Aru. Now, so far there's only one character that's announced, so we have no idea who the next one would be since we know that uh, in global it seems to be two banners consecutively, right? So I'm not sure what next one is going to do, but if we were to look at the list, alright? So let me grab this from the Blue Archive wiki. So the first banner was the this one, right? Shiroko Hoshino banner. So these two banners were together. And then obviously once the banner left, we have Mashiro. And then now they're bringing in this um, Izuna banner. But you can see in JP, how it was done is Izuna was sharing a banner with Shizuko, which is also a two star. Uh, I mean like, it's not two three stars, but it's one three star and one two star, which is really interesting. So Aru was like right here. Aru was like way afterwards. So I'm not sure if... Does this mean that the next one is gonna be perhaps Izuna and Haruna together? You know, maybe we're gonna have two consecutive banner between Izuna and Haruna. Now if that's the case, it's going to be a really interesting one because both Izuna and Haruna, they are both mystic, meaning blue characters, right? So we're gonna talk about them in this video on whether or not they'll, which one will be worth pulling for. Again, I'm not entirely sure if Haruna is going to be next. Maybe they skip Haruna entirely. Maybe they're going to go and bring in Alice. Who knows, right? But just wait for the announcement because the madness should come next week. So let's talk about Izuna in this video. Okay, so let's have a look at this uh, from the Blue Archive Wiki. What, is, what Izuna is capable of. Alright, so she's a striker as you guys can see. She's an attacker, front. She uses SMG. So in terms of the environment you can see she is a mystic meaning she's a blue attacker but she's a light armor or a red defense wise so that's something to keep note of now if you look at level 1 stats level 100 stats you can have a look comparison right there and the most important thing is the skills now how good is her skills so let's talk about you know whether or not she's going to be worth it for you so as you can see all right the ex skill is very cheap very budget friendly it's a three cost ex skill what it does is she moves to a specified area, increase her attack speed by 27% at level 1. At level 5, it goes up to 50%. So she, you forces her to move to a specific area, increase her attack speed by 50%. 30 seconds. So that's a pretty good buff overall. Pretty good even a cycle through units. Let's look at the normal skill. Alright, so she has this first skill. Every few normal attacks, in this case every 6 normal attacks, she deals... 800% damage against enemies within the round shape area. So this one you can't control. This is not her EX skill, this is a normal skill, so it depends on the AI to basically target. And then the passive skill increase the crit damage by 26.6%. And the last sub skill, when she uses her EX skill, she will have her attack increase by 38.3% for 30 seconds. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the EX skill in general. Now, as you can see, the issue that she has probably is going to be in her EX skill. It doesn't do damage. It doesn't do circle area, AOE, whatever. All it does is you're moving her to a specified area and you increase her in attack speed. So you can tell this is going to be really good in raids for sure. Right, if you use her in raids, yes, she's going to be very good right there. In against a single target fighting a boss, that attack speed boost is going to be really really strong but in a story stage where you're constantly moving around that attack speed buff you know i would prefer something like that gives you aoe damage or something along those lines if you actually look at her skills closely it's really similar to asuna so if i were to compare it to asuna ex skill is really really similar in the sense two cost skill basically these two costs increase her evasion by 43.4 percent while using skills and increase attack speed and you can see last for 30 seconds and Asuna also has the ability to basically move, alright? This skill sort of like, 
it doesn't like she doesn't move to this spot but she moved towards that direction of the spot quite similar skill except for you don't get the evasion you get the attack speed right and the attack speed buff seems to be slightly higher as well so that's something to keep in mind we already have asuna and i feel like izuna right here her skill is really really close to asuna's one if you have a 3 star Asuna, probably you don't really need Izuna to be honest. Now I do get it that Mystic type is really really rare right now, alright? As of right now in the global server, if you guys are playing, you would probably know. If you never pulled for Haruna, right? Which is this character right here. I didn't reroll for her. I mean I tried to but I didn't get her, which was unfortunate. So Haruna is one of the few Mystic type characters, uh, blue characters basically. But if you don't have Haruna, your only other option for blue is Chise right here, she's a 2 star, alright, so she's somebody that you have to build eventually because blue uh, mystic characters are just so rare, and Asuna, so now you have Chise and Asuna, for me, these are the only two characters that I have access to right now, again, Izuna will definitely help me, definitely, because I can actually have at least 3 mystic characters, but the thing is, we don't know if Haruna banner is going to come or not, like for me, as someone who do not own a Haruna, I can see the benefit of having an Izuna. Definitely, I can have at least 3 Mystic members. That's going to boost my rate score, my rate damage. Definitely help me with uh, story stage at stage 12 as well. If you have Haruna, I say skip Izuna. Alright, you don't need so many Mystic characters. You have Haruna, you have Chise, you have um, Asuna, which I believe you're going to get eventually because she's a 1 star, right? Like, you probably don't need Izuna. So for a lot of players that have these three characters, Izuna is definitely a skip. It's super skippable. I'm not saying that she's bad, it's just that there will be better banners coming down the line, which I think that's going to be much more safer in terms of investment-wise. So looking at the dates right now, in about four more days, we have about four more days before the Mashiro and the Aru banner disappears. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to pull for... Izuna. So yeah, as always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.